Hello everyone and welcome back to another Symphony tutorial. We had two questions from our YouTube subscribers and the first one is regarding adding a note at the bottom of the receipt notifying the customers that there is an automatic gratuity on the check. That is an excellent question and I think it's absolutely vital for anyone that's using an automatic gratuity to notify their customers that that gratuity is present. If you have a question or would like to propose a topic for a future video, please let me know in the comments below. And with that being said, let's jump into EMC and see how we would add the notification about the automatic gratuity. And really quick before we continue with this video, I just wanted to remind you guys of our online learning platform where you can find everything regarding training and support for Microsymphony. You can find all the details at simsupport.online. Okay, so here we are in EMC and what we're looking for is going to be the guest check headers and trailers. So we're going to go to the descriptors tab and here under header and trailers, we have guest check headers and trailers. Now you can find these at all levels in Symphony. So I can also edit them at the property level or revenue center level. For me at the enterprise level for guest check headers, all I have is our restaurant name, address and phone number. There's also a logo printing here at the top. But if you have, uh, for example, a specific revenue center that you would like to name, you can go here to your guest check header. And instead of the restaurant name, you can override this and create an override using an existing record. And you can just enter your revenue center name here. And you can also add a custom logo or anything else that you might want. So what we are looking for right now are the guest check trailers. So I'm going to go back to the enterprise level and open my trailer. So for now, all I have is a message that says, thank you for dining with us. I'm going to leave an empty spot and then I'm going to add our 18% gratuity included. So right below. And now that I added it here, it's going to print on every check so I can save it. And this is going to print on the guest checks. If you want to go ahead and move forward with this, you can also add it on the credit card trailers. So we can open this as well. So we have a gratuity where they can fill it out, a total and then a signature. And we can also add here at the bottom that 18% gratuity is included. So that way, when the customer sees either receipt, they will know that the gratuity is included. And because that question was a nice and simple one, I decided to pick another. And the second question is if we can create a video about adding a background image to the sign in screen. Also an excellent question. So let's jump into EMC and take a look at how we would do that. OK, so here we are in EMC. And the first thing we have to do is actually load the image into content. So to do that, I'm going to select my enterprise level, go to setup and here under custom content look for content so i have a bunch of content here these are just images for my tables i'm gonna go ahead and add another one and then i'm gonna enter the record name here and i'm just gonna name it tables now this name is gonna be relevant so be careful what you name it and then i'm gonna click ok and now i got this empty spot i'm gonna double click here the rectangle on the left and then I'm going to choose the type of content that I'm going to add. And I'm going to choose just an image, a JPEG image. And then I'm going to import it from file. And this is my file that I want to add. So this is a 1920 by 1080 picture. And it's widescreen, so it's going to fit well on my Workstation 6s. So you want something that has a nice resolution and kind of fits the resolution of your workstations. And I select that and I click Open. Once I click open, I can go ahead and save. Now, I don't see it here right away, but if I click on this and click back, then I see my picture. So it's just a picture of the outside of the restaurant with some tables. So now that I have my content loaded and I made a note of the name, so it's tables with just the first letter capitalized. And now I can go ahead and close my content. Now we're going to go ahead and assign it to the screen. So I'm going to go to the configuration and then open page design. Now here in page design, if you just want to change the sign in screen, we're going to go ahead and open that up. I'm going to change the aspect ratio to 16 to 9. And as you can see, I already have a background here. And the way I added this, or if you want to change it or add a new one, you're going to go to the manage page 
and you're gonna see here background and right now it just says sign in so what you're gonna do is click change select image if you want to use an image there's also a couple of options for colors if you just want like a different color and i'm gonna name it tables the exact same name that i added in content and then go ahead and click ok so all i have to do now is save and if i go back to my edit we can see my new background here and one more thing that I want to show you is if you have multiple tabs. So let's say that I have a begin check and this is something that I did before in my begin checks area. I have multiple table layouts. So I have my dining room here and I also have my bar. So sometimes people want to change the background to kind of match the look of the bar versus the dining room. So I'm going to click on this. You have to make sure you click in the center in the selected area and then you click this little grid utilities and you just click change background and then you can add your image here just as we did before. Now, the difference between adding it this way and adding it to the manage, the manage tab will actually add it to everything, every site tab here versus if you change it through this one, you will be able to have a different one on this tab versus the bar tab. If you guys are enjoying these videos, make sure to leave it a big like and also to subscribe to the channel. And a quick reminder of our amazing Facebook community, it's free to join for everyone. I'll leave a link to it in the description below. If you have any questions, make sure to join and you can ask your questions there. You'll find myself and hundreds of other fellow hospitality enthusiasts that can help you out with any issues that you have. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.